Yo. What is up, second mother lovers? I'm about to attempt a braid out on my hat. Uh, uh, how y'all doing, second mother lovers? Okay, so this is my first time manipulating my hair. Well, no, my second, because the first one I did a chunky twist out when I was like TWA. And mm, I didn't like it. Everybody else was like, it's so No, I didn't like it. Anyway, so I'm going to attempt a braid out because Queen of the Canary Diamond said that I wouldn't. Boom, I told you I'm going to try this. So keep in mind when watching this video, it's my first time. We're going to. We're going to lose our virginity together. <laughs> anyway, so if you are interested in seeing this, stay tuned. Alrighty, so I start off with bucket naked hair. There is absolutely nothing in my hair. So this is my hair in the nude. This is what you see is what you get, girl. Look at it looking all glistening, but that's, that's my bad part. And this is the back. It is growing. I'm so happy. Anyway. So, first things first, what you will need to do is decide if you're going to have a part, a curvation, whatever you're going to do to your hair to make your hair pop the way you want it to. Because I'm always doing my part on the side, I decided uh, I'm going to do my part on the side just to keep it simple. Because my hair it seems to go that way anyway, so it works out for me. Alright, so once you've decided that you're going to have the part or whatever, then you'll take uh, your hair and part it. What I did was just part it into four sections. Two in the front, two in the back. And I'm going to start in the back so I'll clip my front first. And also I forgot to mention my hair is pretty much 95% dry. Now I will be adding water just to give my uh, braids a little oomph, but not much because you don't want to do a braid out with um, what is it? Soaking wet hair. So once all my sections are nice and parted, we will get started with these lovely braids. Y'all don't laugh at me because it's going to get funny. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Now, what I do is once I have those parts, I'll take a piece of my first braid, my first section of hair, and I will begin to I dampen it a little bit, but I'm going to show you the product that I use first. So what I'll be using is the Shea Butter Coconut and Hibiscus by Shea Moisture. And that's just basically Shea Butter. Now one thing I will suggest, because it's solid as a rock, is to maybe warm it up so it's easy to work with. Because I almost broke my finger trying to use this thing for real. So what you'll do is, did this thing just start going fast? I think it did. You'll dampen it just a little bit. Like I said, you do not want your hair soaking wet. Now I attempted to do... Uh, one of the methods that, oh my gosh, I forgot her lovely name. I can't think of her name. I'll think about it. I'll put it down. But she did um, her braid out by doing two different parts. <laughs> and I attempted to do it at the back. Basically, what you're doing is you're going to take a piece of hair that you're braiding and then part that into two sections, if you know what I mean. And you'll have a top section and a bottom section. Then from there, what you'll do is as you're braiding at the top, you'll start to add hair in, if that makes sense. I attempted it, and what you the reason why you're doing this is because it'll give you more pieces when you're taking it out, so you don't have to separate it and it reduces frizzing. Guys, I'm not a good braider, so this didn't go well for me, but if you are a good braider, this is a really, really, really good method, and I love it. Oh my God, what is her name? I gotta figure out her name. Her name is Natural. So yeah, natural, if you go to her twist out or her braid out video, you'll see the same method and she shows you how to do it and it looks a whole lot better than mine. But I'm just giving you guys an idea on how to do it. But it did come out okay. I just honestly, I would just braid my hair and it, it'll be fine for me because to me, maybe if I got used to this, it'll be okay. But I'm not, I wasn't used to it. So, hey. Once you've braided it down to the end, I just took a little bit of water and I simply twisted my ends to try to give it a spiral look at the end so it would, you know, curl. That way when I take it down, it's cool. So I'm going to show you guys this one more time so you can see how I did it. I forgot to mention that my hair is detangled, but I am just kind of pulling it apart to make sure that there are no tangles that kind of got stuck in there. 
So all I'm doing is applying the shea butter all on, on my hair. Don't apply too much to where your hair is like way down or really thick. But I'm applying enough just so it's smooth, you know, throughout my hair. And then again, top piece, I'm braiding. And then as I'm going along, I'm simply grabbing a piece of hair as I go along. I say grabbing a piece of hair. I struggled, y'all. I really did. But to say I struggled the way I did with these braids, it still came out, you know, pretty decent to say that this was my first braid out. So I'm going to quickly show you guys this one more time just because it's a piece of the hair in the front. So you can have an idea of what it looks like as opposed to me doing it in the back. So I'm just wetting it, pulling it apart to make sure there are no kinks, curls, whatever you want to call it, naps, <laughs> and smoothing the shea butter on it. Again, I'm just taking the ends and twisting. All right, them little three blade braids and took me out of here. So I'm going to go ahead on and finish these braids and I'll be back. Lord have mercy. So the middle part, one thing that Natural did that I was like, oh, very interesting, was that she took the middle part and she had two sections. And what she did was she would take the braid and send one braid to one side and one to the other and what this did was gave you volume so if you're working on the left side you'll take it and turn it over and braid it to the right side if that makes sense so again it's on the left side you'll bring it over to the right and if you notice I, by this point the natural uh, way of braiding had went out the window so I was just simply doing a regular three strand braid and again this worked fine for me if you're a better braider than I am hey Go to Natural's channel and see how she did it because it's an awesome idea. I just can't do it. So again, as I told you guys before, you take the braid on the right side, switch it on over to the left side, have your good old shea butter, and braid. All right, so once it's done, you will be looking like, hey, Felicia, bye, Felicia. So in total, I had, let's see, one, two, three, four. How many braids? I, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight, nine, I don't know. About eight braids in my hair. Now, what I will be doing, which is another technique that Natural did, was I'm stretching them slightly. I'm not yanking my hair, but all I'm doing is taking these while they're still wet and still fresh and bringing them around almost like you're wrapping your hair when it's straight and what I'll do is pin them in the back so what this is doing is just encouraging them to stay straight as opposed to you know how your hair starts to crinkle up and shrink all it's doing is just kind of pulling your hair I'm doing the same thing to the other side. I'm just simply taking the braids and pushing them over to the other side. So, like I say, give yourself a wrap or whatever. And I really like this idea because once I pulled them down, I saw how stretched they were. And you'll see that once I skip through this good old video. So once that's all done and you have figured out what you're going to do with them two little braids at the top, now you're ready for the next part. Well, I guess I want to show you my hair first. So yeah, this is what my hair is looking like in my good old braids. <laughs> and you see, nothing big, nothing big. So I did take my hair and wrap it up and I'm hoping and praying that it comes out okay. Now let me say this, I suggest sleeping overnight with this but you can see that you see how smooth it's looking just from that but I do suggest being uh, going overnight so your hair can completely dry I did not have time to do that as you can see my eyes are done I was actually going to win that night so I didn't have time to actually let it stay overnight but the next time I do this I will let it sleep over you know go overnight so you know they'll be completely dry because when I was taking them out they were not drying up
And if your hair is not dry, you will end up looking like a frizz ball. That is a promise. I can promise you that will happen. So one thing I did do was try to dry them as much as I could. So I did have my uh, blow dryer on a cool setting and I just kind of focused on those that were really wet. One thing that I did do, I used my lovely oil, my little concoction that I have. And all I'm doing is using this to pull out the um, braids because what you don't want is to have the frizz. It is such a tedious job to pull these out, but this is a very important part because this determines the frizz. So you do want to take your time with this and make sure that you do minimize the frizz because the less frizz you have at the beginning, the longer you braid out and your twist out will last. Now I don't mind being a guinea pig, so I'm showing you guys what one will look like when it's not dry. Do you see how the frizz came immediately? Now, luckily, I was gonna I'm able to cover that up, but you can see what my hair is looking like because I did not let it dry all the way. So I just turned my head over and just kind of tried to play with it, use my good old plastic pick, and all I'm doing is gently lifting so you can kind of get rid of the parts that are in your hair. So yeah, I'm just going around and lifting that lovely frizzy hair. But you can't really see the frizz, which was lucky because it was the ones that was at the bottom. So I, I got a little lucky. But anyway, this is what my hair looks like for my first time twist out. To say this was my first time, I was satisfied with the results just because it kind of gave me a fun and funky look. So I definitely enjoyed it. And I'll, you know, I'll try it again and it'll, I feel like it'll be better. But this is the results for it. And you see all that frizz at the bottom. So let me be an example let it dry be patient but it was okay for the night i actually ended up washing my hair out the next day but i did want to see what it looked like so anyway thank you guys so much for watching as always this is long enough don't ask me why i have a watch in my hand i'm out well why don't you show you some pictures so you know it's real <laughs> thanks for watching guys i'm out rule number one through thirty when trying to do a twist out or a braid out you need to let your hair dry